Evolved the Amber Vert. The BS is cut like ham and jerk. Yo, I'm about to react to the top, to the six most mistreated groups in K-pop history, man. On the beat, on the Beat Boss TV channel. I'm about to get into it. Before I do, if y'all new to the channel, if y'all genuinely like the reaction, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. Hit the all so you can get all the notifications when the when my future videos drop, man. We on the road to 5K subscribers. Let's get me there before the end of this month. I believe we can do it. I'm going to continue to grind for y'all. Drop, keep Continue to drop y'all requests and I'm going to get to them, man. We, we, we. We 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 finna hit the we finna hit 5k this month, bro. Let's 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 give me that. I believe we can get that. We we gonna keep going, man. For sure, for sure. We we gonna we ain't gonna waste too much time. This joint longer than that thing. 17 minutes and 34 seconds. Let's see, let's see what's up. Number one, T. I never heard of this group. In Number one, T. R. C. N. G. Never heard of this. In K-pop history, there has never been so terrible a mistreatment being exposed as that of T. R. C. N. G. This is a South Korean boy group formed by TS Entertainment and consists of eight members. They debuted with the EP New Generation on October 10, 2017, with the song Spectrum. In 2019, after two former members, Woo Yop and Taesan, departed from TRCNG, the whole mistreating scandal was exposed. This is probably the worst mistreatment that ever happened in K-pop history because the company not only materially abused members, but also hurt their physical and mental health. Wow. Specifically, TRCNG was given the worst living conditions ever. In fact, it's so terrible that people would never believe this is where a K-pop idol group actually lives, if not for the scandal being exposed. TCE didn't provide them with proper dorms, pay bills, and they even stole money from the idols. Wow. According to two former right. members, that's 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 some busted ish right there. That's 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 disgraceful, bro. Like. You gonna steal money from the people like man, bro. I I don't I don't I don't respect people like that, bro. I I I, I can't you I can't, bro. I can't I cannot respect people who who do that who who do that type of stuff, bro. Like 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 like. Come on, man. That's 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 sad, bro. That's terrible. It lives. It's not for the scandal being exposed. Like how can somebody could how can people condone that? Dorms, how can people bills, condone? And they even stole how can you money condone from the idols? That? According to two former how members, can you ten members lived bro. in an incredibly cramped space. He didn't sick, provide them with proper sick. dorms, pay bills, and they even stole money from the idols. According to two former members, ten members lived in an incredibly cramped space. Whereas eight members shared the first floor of a duplex apartment, the other two lived in a place that looks like nothing more than a storage room on the second floor. Wow. The ceiling was so low that no one could stand up all the way. It's not heated well either. They had to live in clutter around their belongings, clothes, and equipment. The rooms weren't well maintained because, as you can see, the floor was damaged by frequent water leaks. Wow. As if that wasn't bad enough, the company didn't even pay the utility bills on time. One time, when their boiler was shut off, Four to five members caught severe flu, so they had to sleep and shower at the sauna. That was when TRC and G was having a second promotion, rising. When the members went to the hospital, they even had to pay for it themselves. Despite the ill health condition, TSE still forced them to perform. Wow, that's, that's some slave, that's like some slave type, that's like slavery slash tyranny slash dictatorship slash. Hell, slap like it, bro. That's crazy. They they were forced to perform still, like, like the pe like the people that had the flu, the members that had the flu, they were forced to perform. They they had to perform still, like. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's that's beyond crazy, bro. I I I never heard of I never heard of stuff like like in K-pop. I never. I didn't know this stuff was happening in K-pop, bro. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I'm this is this is new to me. Like, this I'm learning like the horrors that that happened behind the scenes, the 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 the, 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 the pain, the the hell, the hell that they're in, bro. Like, it's it's crazy, man. It's, it's beyond it's beyond crazy for real. It's 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 it's, it's like it, this stuff this stuff this stuff this stuff will bring you to tears, man. For real, this stuff this stuff this stuff brings people to tears, bro. 
Because it's, it's sad. It's sad. He was having a second promotion, rising. When the members went to the hospital, they even had to pay for it themselves. Despite the ill health condition, TSE still forced them wow. to perform. Though Tyson had reminded the agency multiple times to pay the bills. It's like they have no like no understanding, bro. No like mercy, bro. No like just no they have no heart. They have no like the people who forced them to do that, bro. They have no uh love, bro, in their heart, bro. They how like how like how do they how can how can they have love in their heart, bro? Like that's that's some cool it that's some cool stuff right there, bro. Pay for it themselves. Despite the ill health condition, TSE still forced them to perform. Though Tyson had reminded the agency multiple times to pay the bills, only when the electricity company sent the final notice did the staff agree to conduct payment. It's like Besides, they didn't even TSE and G also lacked basic necessities like a proper functioning toilet. When the toilet broke down, though the members asked TS Entertainment to call the plumber, the label allegedly didn't respond. Eventually, Buyop's mother had to call and pay for the plumbing services herself. Not to mention, the toilet looks extremely degraded. The company also didn't provide them with food. Wow. They had to buy it themselves, and only when they practiced late at night did the agency send them some fried rice. Wow. They even had to buy coffee for the staff members like, with their own up? money. Like, what's wrong with them, bro? Like, what's wrong with like, come on. Sable allegedly didn't respond. Eventually, Wuyop's mother had to call and pay for the plumbing services herself. This Not is, to mention, this, I, the toilet is, looks extremely degraded. This is, this is so the company sad, bro. also this is didn't sad provide to them with this food. Is sad to hear, bro. They had to buy it themselves, and only when they practiced late at night did the agency send them some private. This, this is like slick. They like even had to buy coffee slay, for the staff bro. members with their own money. And here comes the most like, terrible not, thing of it all. It's like, it's, there's no respect, bro. There's no respect. When they practiced late at night, did the agency send them some fried rice? They even had to buy coffee for the staff members with their own money. And here comes the most terrible thing of it all. Many chat I don't logs understand a word that's on the screen. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't understand a word that's when the on the screen. Though down, the uh, members asked TS Entertainment screen. to call the plumber, the label allegedly didn't respond. Eventually, Wuyop's mother had to call and pay for the plumbing services herself. Not to mention, the toilet looks extremely degraded. The company also didn't provide them with food. They had to buy it themselves, and only when they practiced late at night did the agency send them some fried rice. They even had to buy coffee for the staff members with their own money. And here comes the most terrible thing of it all. Many chat logs revealed staff members were getting drunk and cursing at the members. Wow. One staff was asking an underage trc &G member to appear at an illegal entertainment bar, where prostitution is common. Buyop and Tyson even revealed photos of the members being assaulted by the staff. Ah, oh, nah, yeah, nah. That's that they 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 devilish, bro. They they are devils. Those people are devils, bro. Those people are devils, bro. Human devils, human devils on this earth, bro. Hum there are human devils, bro. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down, human devils. That's that's what they are, bro. Like assaulting people, like a man, bro. Pro they said, like having like having underage members attend like attend a bar attend bro like prostitution bro is this is this is this is this is man bro this is this is this is this is hell bro this is hell man this is hell like, for the this staff hell, members bro. with their own this money hell on earth, and here comes the most terrible thing of it all this, this is, many this chat logs revealed staff members were getting drunk and cursing at the members that one staff was asking an underage trc and g member to appear at an illegal entertainment bar where prostitution is common buyop and tyson even revealed photos of the members being assaulted by the staff mm. The images show a staff hitting one member's neck with a toothbrush. Come on, man. However, this man insisted it was just a punishment while they were playing a game. Come on, man. Leo further said he himself was hit with a metal chair and received severe bruises. Oh, man. He revealed he has medical documents and members as witnesses. Not stopping there. Like, like these people didn't get arrested, bro. These people didn't get, like, uh, criminally, bro. Like, did they receive any consequences for the savagery that they, that they, uh, bro, like, this, like, it's, bar it's barbarism, bro, it's the epitome of, bar it's the exemplification, it's the embodiment 
it's the epitome of bar of barbarism, bro. Like straight up and down. Chief barbarism. executives even barbarism. used the members barbarity. as laborers when they were still barbarity. It's straight up barbarity. Leon further said he himself was hit with a metal chair and received like, severe like bruises. This, this is unacceptable. He revealed bro. he has medical documents and members as witnesses. Not stopping there, TSC executives even used the members as laborers when they were still trainees. He often made them organize, package, post, and sell his shoes online. TSC also abused them financially through profit sharing. According to the nine-year contract, the profits from their music releases are reportedly divided 9-1 TS Entertainment to TRC and G, 8-2 from their third full-length album onwards, and advertisement deals and events are divided 7-3. As there are 10 members in the group, the label takes 90% of the profits, while each member only receives 1%. Number two. Got Seven. Never heard of this group. Got either. Seven is a boy group formed by JYP in 2014. I know. I, I've Though heard JYP of the JYP Entertainment. Uh, I think that's Mama Moo is under that label, right? The, the K pop, uh, the Korean girl group. Mama Moo is under JYP, I believe. If I'm, if my memory is right, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, Mama Moo, shout out to Mama Moo. Mama Moo is a dope the K pop group. Yeah, they're, they're, under J, they're under JYP, I believe. Some of the profits. Well, each member only receives... Y'all correct me, though, if I'm wrong. Number two, correct. GOT7. GOT7 is a boy group formed by JYP in 2014. Though JYP did give a lot of investment in GOT7 in their first two years, the company gradually ignored them to the point that Agues became extremely frustrated. Their newest comeback alone, Breath of Love, Last Piece, the company has made fans triggered again for their careless promotion. Though this is nothing new, the whole situation has been pushed to another level when GOT7 didn't even have a proper MV teaser. Whereas their self-composed album has up to two title tracks, Breath and Last Piece, there were no proper and separate video and photo teasers for that. The fact that Twice, Stray Kids, and Itzy all have periodic and well-managed teasers for their comebacks, and then there's GOT7 Stop having a ridiculous kids. teaser is unacceptable. I, I, I've, I've, I've heard, I've reacted to some Stray Kids songs. Uh, stray Kids, they, they, that, that's a fire group as well. Proper and separate Korean video and photo group. teasers for that. The fact that Twice, Stray Kids, and Itzy all have periodic and well-managed teasers for their comebacks. And then there's GOT7 having a ridiculous teaser is unacceptable. JYP only released a meaningless photo teaser a few hours before the official MV aired. By that, it means there is literally no connection between the teaser and the MV. Moreover, all its portraits are typography of the title, and no pictures of the members. Before this comeback, fans are already super upset because all the members have no mutual activities over the past seven months. There were no variety shows, no commercial contracts, nothing for GOT7 as a group. In the past, a very similar thing had already happened in the promotion of Eclipse. Normally, before every comeback, the agency will release the poster and MV teaser with the full information of the date and time to release the MV. By that, fans can increase MV views for their idols in the first 24 hours. But in the teaser of the Eclipse MV, there is no information about what time the MV would be released. Not knowing the specific release time, all the preparations and efforts to increase views for the MV of Agues were ruined. Not only slow in announcing the date and time of GOT7's MV release, like, what's up with the company people, also bro? announced the what's comeback and the world tour simultaneously, leaving company, fans with no label. time to prepare money to support their idols. The label, like, Not many fans are financially able to buy both the album and concert ticket, so they'll have to choose between them. This caused GOT7's album sales to decline compared to previous comebacks. While the fans are trying hard to buy albums to increase sales for GOT7, one of Korea's reputable album buying sites, Sonara, apologized for not having enough albums to sell. In the first week, most of the album sales come from the pre-order amount. JYP should have a full preparation of the number of albums released, but they didn't have enough albums to sell on the second day. It's quite apparent to see how the company didn't even care about stocking enough albums to increase the reputation of GOT7. For their last comeback, Die, they promoted only for a week while other groups usually promoted for two weeks or more. Since the member schedules were obviously not packed, there was no proper reason for the company to set up such a short promotion time like that. Besides the mismanagement, JYP also restricted GOT7's creative freedom. Unlike Stray Kids, who could just lame, produce bro. what they want, like, it's, JP it's is a like scoop. These lab, like certain labels, bro. Like, as far as certain labels, they slave labels, bro. Like, you don't have the free, like, the artists don't have, the, the artists are not able to dictate what gets put up and when it, and when 
they, they're not able to dictate what type of songs get put out and when the uh, and when the and when the songs can come out. Whereas independent artists artists with autonomy they're, they're able to dictate when it comes out what types what type of song what uh what types of songs can, uh, can, uh, can come out and all that like they can put out whatever song they whatever uh type of song they want to put out uh, yeah bro it's, it's uh, the slave labels bro the, the plantation labels the, the they 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 epitomize hell for real. That is hell for real. For real. I they promoted only for a week, while other groups usually promoted for two weeks or more. Since the members' schedules were obviously not packed, there was no proper reason for the company to set up such a short promotion time like that. Besides the mismanagement, JYP also restricted Got Seven's creative freedom. Unlike Stray Kids, who could just produce what they want, JB is a skilled producer but always has his songs rejected. Jackson Wong, Bam Bam, and Jin Young are skilled songwriters and composers. Still, if you check out the tracklist for their songs, they only contributed to very few pieces throughout Got Seven's career. As if the mistreatment in their work wasn't enough, JYP also gave no greater consideration to Got Seven's safety. A lot of the members reported Sasang fans lurking around their houses for months on and on. Some members have talked about getting many calls from crazy fans. August, then he can try to get JYP to take some action, but their response was rather late. Wow. It's horrible, bro. It's horrible. It's horrible what these groups be going through, man. It's horrible. Try cheesy, crispy, rich, like, cheesy I, crispers. Man. Number three, BAP. Never heard of this group. BAP is a boy group founded by TS Entertainment, the same agency that managed TRC and G. BAP saw an amazing run during their promotional peak. They had back-to-back chart-topping hits, numerous world tours, and even held the reins in popularizing K-pop in the West. However, owing to unresolved conflicts, unexplained hiatuses, and lawsuits, BAP could not sustain the environment for growth. The situation was so desperate that BAP's leader had to repeatedly remind his fans not to buy their albums or their merch in order to cut the support for the company. He mentions this almost everywhere, on his IG Live, Twitters, fan meeting, fan sign, and concert. He even dissed his company on live shows. He did it whenever possible, directly, so it wouldn't get edited out. Towards the end of 2014, reports started coming up that all BAP members had filed a lawsuit against their label, TS Entertainment, for violating the Fair Trade Commission's policy on slave contracts. From unfair working conditions hey, I just to- said slave con- I just said slave labels, bro. Hey, we, yeah, the great, the, bro, come on, man. Yeah, bro, I was just saying, I said that slave, slave, I said slave labels, yeah, slave contracts, yep. Yeah. It's, it's, you don't, it's slavery, bro, I said, I said this, bro. Like, you don't have the autonomy, bro. You don't have the control. You don't have the, the freedom, bro. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't put out what you want to put out. You can't put out a certain type of song. You can't put out a song like if, like if you want to put out like a revolutionary song or something that's unconventional or something like that. They ain't, they probably not gonna they not gonna let you put that up. You feel me? Because it's 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 yeah, bro. Like yeah, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Like like artist freedom, bro. Like people can't like artists can't put out songs that they want to put up bro like they, it's like it's it's tyrannical like the the, the people who own like certain la- like labor owners they be they be tyrannical bro they be tyrannical dictatorial bro and that's and that's sus that's sus that's sus bro morally sus that's out of order that's they that's 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 not respectable that's not commendable that's not laudable that's not praiseworthy at all, bro. Like, like to the to the tyrant to the tyrants. F F y'all, bro. F F y'all. You feel me? F y'all, bro. F F. Unresolved tyrants, conflicts, F-tyrants, unexplained bro. hiatuses, and lawsuits. I, BAP could not sustain I, the environment I, I, for growth. The situation was tyrants, so desperate bro. that BAP's leader had to repeatedly remind his fans not to buy their albums like or their tyrants, merch bro. in order to cut the support for the company. 
He mentions this almost everywhere, on his IG Live, Twitters, fan meeting, fan sign, and concert. He even dissed his company on live shows. He did it whenever possible, directly, so it wouldn't get edited out. Towards the end of 2014, reports started coming up that all BAP members had filed a lawsuit against their label, TS Entertainment, for violating the Fair Trade Commission's policy on slave contracts. From unfair working conditions to shady profit distribution, nah. BAP was battling all sorts of corporate evils in their creative journey. Oh, the nah. company had reportedly profited nearly $10 million since the boys' debut. Still, the members only received $17,000 each within the three-year interval. Wow. Divided over 40 months, this sum translated into roughly just $500 a month. Wow. While the company blatantly denied the accusations, oh, BAP took to filing another lawsuit yeah, for man. defamation of character. It's yeah, they, 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 them people, they be denying that stuff, bro. Come on, man. Like, they be trying to manipulate people and trick people and have, like, they want people to think that they good human beings and that they this and that, man. Y'all some devils, bro. 2014, reports started coming up that all BAP members had filed a lawsuit against their label, TS Entertainment, for violating the Fair Trade Commission's policy on Yo, slave I, contracts. I would be pissed, bro, if From I was them, bro. If I was them, I would be pissed, too, bro. Distribution, like, if BAP they was doing all this devilish of shady, evils in their creative journey. Like, un the company had like, reportedly profited nearly $10 pissed, million dollars since the boys' debut. I know, they so, had to be the pissed, bro. They had to be pissed when they... of corporate evils in their creative like, journey. The company it had, had reportedly period, profited nearly $10 million dollars since the boys' debut. They found out they got Still, the members they only got received $17,000 each within the three-year interval. Divided over 40 months, this sum translated into roughly just $500 a month. While their company blatantly denied the accusations, BAP took to filing another lawsuit for defamation of character. To pay the lawsuit process, Jungkook sold his sneaker selection and secretly did a part-time job as a newspaper boy. Finally, dollars each within the three year like they, they, the, divided over 40 months, them, this man. sum translated into roughly just $500 a month. While their company blatantly denied the accusations, BAP took to filing another lawsuit for defamation of character. To pay the lawsuit process, Jungkook sold his sneakers collection and secretly did a part-time job as a newspaper boy. Finally, the two parties agreed, but the group took a hiatus until their next comeback almost a year later. After the hiatus, things got even more challenging as they needed to build up their name again. Though fans even boycotted their concert to let them rest a bit, BAP members were tortured by the company through the pack schedules. Up to seven comebacks a year, world tour once a year, and non-stop promotion concerts. They were forced to perform even when being sick. This is such an endless nightmare. Number four. CLC. Never heard of this group either. CLC is a girl group debuting under Cube Entertainment in 2015. Over five years, many fans think that this group was seriously mistreated considering multiple aspects. First is their primary concept. They debuted with the cute concept, whereas all the members were initially supposed to follow the girl crush theme. However, Cube Entertainment suddenly changed their mind, leaving the girls no other way than doing things they didn't prepare and wasn't their cup of tea. It was said that Cube forced CLC to follow the Cube concept in order to not overshadow their most precious girl group at the time, Four Minutes. Then, when Cube disbanded Four Minutes and only kept Huna, who also left eventually, the company changed the image of CLC into the descendants of Four Minutes. This move of Cube triggered lots of Four Minutes fans because they believed that Four Minutes had no respect from their juniors. It's easy to see how Cube just cared about profit and gave no attention to how CLC would be impacted. Then, the company forced CLC to follow the Cube concept again. It's reported that not until Soren gave Cube a full-on PowerPoint presentation about the advantages of the Girl Crush concept, did the company let them come back with the title track, Black Dress. Around this time, they started to regain their fans from the Hobgoblin era. Yet, instead of quickly giving them a second promotion, Cube introduced G-Idol and literally ignored CLC. I heard of G-Idol. Not just that, CLC and V's were always filmed in a box, which fans often sarcastically referred to as stuck in the basement. Most of the scenes they filmed were in a room, and there has never been anything more than that. Compared to G-Idol, whose MVs are often full of open space settings, 
Shout CFC out to GI. Students are super frustrated because of such discrimination in the budget. Moreover, the fact that Cube never gave them an official light stick really drove fans crazy. It's even reported that CLC had to pay for the flight tickets themselves whenever performing offshore. Though it's not clear whether Cube applies this rule to every group in their company, it is obviously unacceptable compared to other famous groups. It does not make sense, man. I'm telling you. Number five, Christine. Christine is a girl group introduced by... I've Queen. never heard of this group either. It is obviously unacceptable compared to other famous groups. Number five, Christine. Never Christine. heard of this group. Christine is a girl group introduced by Pletus Entertainment in 2016. However, just after around two years of promotion, the girls disbanded and left fans in shock. Though they were first predicted to be the Rookie of the Year, things went downhill so fast that no one could imagine. For the reason of their disbandment, it's mostly because of how Cletus mistreated the girls. The first thing was about Kyla's image. Though many people initially thought that her curvy body was due to her own diet, they later discovered that the story was much more complex with Cletus' involvement. Some believe that, similar to the way Pletus forced Uli to eat a lot to attract public attention, they were doing the same with Christine's Kyla. As a result, she was fat shamed by many, many anti-fans. Kyla was so depressed that she went on a temporary hiatus amid the promotion with Christine. Yet, it extended to forever, and she eventually returned to the States to rest and recover. It's evident that, for the sake of increasing sales, Pletus Entertainment did everything even at the expense of Kyla's mental condition. Look at how the poor girl was completely ignored during the fan meet. When it was Kyla's turn on stage, all of the interpreters immediately turned their cameras away from her and only focused on other members at the corners. Wow. Imagine how hurtful it must be That's for a teenage bad. girl. After the recovering time, though Kyla and her family did consider her coming back to Korea to continue the music career with Christine, Cletus blatantly announced that she was no longer a group member. Despite the explanation from Kyla's sister, things didn't change at all. Not only ruining Kyla's career, Cletus actually ignored the whole group when not letting them come back for nearly two years. Even when fans demanded an answer, they still pretended as if there was nothing wrong going on. They also continuously deleted fan cafe posts asking for Christine's comebacks. Seemingly, all the things this company did were just to sweep everything about the girls I'm under depressed. the rug. Because K-pop groups often have an active life of seven years, and Christine had already dumped two years into the trash bin, as a result, Cletus decided to disband them. Number six, Stellar. I think I heard of Stellar. Stella I, mean, I haven't heard any songs by Stellar. With a four-girl lineup. They were initially introduced as a group produced by Earth. After two unsuccessful first songs, Rocket Girl and UFO, Stellar had to change members and the final lineup included Gayong, Chun Yoo, Min Hee, and Hyo Eun. When Stellar first debuted, the group pursued a lovely concept combined with girl crush style. In 2013, the group released the single Study, and this was their first song to reach the top 100, bringing Stellar closer to the public. A year later, Stellar released their first album titled Marionette, and it all started here. The management company wanted them to get rid of their cute, mischievous image and become more sexy and seductive. During the promotion of Marionette, fans were even encouraged to press like on the group's photos on Facebook to see the members' body parts gradually being revealed. Not to mention, the original MV of the song Marionette is also labeled 19 plus because there are too many erotic scenes in it. Despite a lot of controversy, this became Stellar's most famous song. The highest ranking of Marionette on Gaon is at number 35. The song also ranked 34th on the Billboard K-Pop Hot 100 chart. But everything has a price. A lot of controversy, this became Stellar's most famous song. The highest ranking of Marionette on Gaon is at number 35. The song also ranked 34th on the bill. Despite a lot of controversy, this became Stellar's most famous song. The highest ranking of Marionette on Gaon. is at number 35. Almost the song also ranked 34 on the Billboard K-Pop Hot 100 chart, but it was later revealed by Gaeyong that the company tricked the group into recording erotic scenes. Wow. The staff never fully conveyed their intentions to the members during Crazy. filming. Gaeyong said, there was a scene where a member had to drink milk. 
The script was missing ex, rolling on bed, waking up, and drinking milk. At that time, we thought they simply wanted her to drink milk to portray a morning moment. They even told her to spit the milk while drinking to portray an exhausted image. But this scene can make you imagine even more. No one knew that was the purpose of the scene. The member that Gayo mentioned was only 20 years old at the time. She was so shocked that she still can't drink milk until now. However, every time the girls try to protect themselves, they are threatened with penalty fees. Since the girls were too young at that time and afraid of being fined, they chose to be silent. Moreover, there were times the whole group was only given one meal and they had to divide it equally among four people. Gayoung also recalled, With the song Vibrato, they told us to dance in super revealing outfits. When we said no, they said, just give it a try before you say no. Eventually, we reluctantly took about five photos wearing those outfits, but it was too much. They seemed to agree with us, but then those pictures were released. Right after seeing those pictures, we called them and argued, but they just put the matter aside and said, so sorry, we won't do that again. After the concert, Interstellar, time travel through six years ended, Gaeyang and Chon Yul did not renew their contract with the entertainment Pascal company and decided to leave the group. In early 2018, Min Hee and Hyun also left the group, Stellar officially disbanded. Gaeyang revealed that not only the members, but their families were also hurt by the concept that the group was forced to pursue. She said, our parents are also very sad. They often hear people ask, why your children are doing this? Although the members are now happy with their own path, it is undeniable that the former management company took advantage of them. In a conversation on Min Hee's YouTube channel, Gaeyang revealed that during seven years of working under Stellar, each member was only paid 9,000 US dollars, despite having many popular songs and bringing the company a substantial yes. profit. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for sitting with me through such a long video. Are there other mistreated groups that you want us to do for part two? Comment down below, I'll read them all. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Boss TV because more great videos are waiting for you ahead. Thank you for watching. Yeah, uh, bro. If y'all like the uh, if y'all like the video, like the video, comment, sh um, share, all, uh, yeah, man, show them love, man. Tell them Diva the Emmerer sent you, man. If yeah, what what are y'all thoughts about all of this, bro? I think I think it's sad what what that what they went through, bro. But all these groups that were mentioned in this video, it's sad with the groups. It's sad what the groups that were mentioned in this video were going through, bro. It's 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 tyranny, bro. It's and it's and it's sad that they had to they had to be silent. They 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 were they feared bad consequences, bro. Like they feared they feared like they were in fear, bro. Like they couldn't, bro. They couldn't speak out like against. The, the 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 BS that was happening to him, bro. Like that's that's terrible, bro. That's terrible. Bro. It and like it like the living conditions, the money situations, bro. Like all that stuff is terrible, bro. All that stuff is terrible. Like it's like how can how can people condone this stuff, bro? How like how can people respect people who who take advantage of people, bro? Like that's devilish, bro. I'm about to get up out of here, bro. Yeah, that 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 I would be pissed. I would be really pissed too, bro. If that happened to me, bro. If I was in in one of them labels, under one of them labels, bro. If I was a K-pop artist, bro. Yeah, I would be pissed, bro. I would be I would be beyond pissed, bro. Like, bro, that man, bro. I'm about to get up out of here, bro. Let me know what what other joints I should react to, and I'll react to them. I appreciate it. I appreciate and love y'all. One love to the family of DTA Elevation One Four. No GTA. I'm gone. Bro.